in our work. I'm from her grandmother's side. What have you done to her marriage? Men are not work. Oh, please. I've destroyed her marriage. What have you done to her finances? We are done, Malak. Malak is a pill. I've destroyed her finances. She will, she will work hard forever. How do you end her? Unganajan? Yeah, I'm Nigis. And my belly got cocoa. From the graveyard. So we give glory to God Almighty for this wonderful healing, deliverance we have received in today's service. And with all.
Nous vous rappelons si vous avez un témoignage, sortez de... Madame, we welcome you in Jesus' name. Can you tell us your name, where you are from, and share your testimony with the people of God? Yeah. <coughs> people of God, Emmanuel. Good morning. Good morning, church. My name is uh, Mrs. Philippa Nkiru Onyekwelu. I'm in Nigeria, and I'm from Anambra State. I reside in Lagos. Yes, I came in here um, with um, the problem of um, lumbar sp uh, spondylitis. I actually came in with uh, lumbar corset. I've had this problem for the past uh, 16 years. I couldn't walk. You know, walk walking was a, a problem to me until I decided to come to the arena of liberty for my freedom. Yes, when I came, the man of God touched me. I felt something move out of me, and I fell on the floor. Glory and be to, to Jesus Christ. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. To the glory of God. And Madam, can you demonstrate and show us what you can do now that you could not before you were touched? Yes, I, I, yes I couldn't walk straight before I came in here. But as you can see, I'm walking majestically. I'm walking straight. I was actually walking this way when I came in. I think everybody saw me when I came in, but now I can walk straight. Yes, I can move. I can jump. I can dance to the glory of God. Glory be to Jesus Christ. We are dancing with you. Amen. And, uh, Madam, what, now that you received your healing, what is your advice to the viewers? Yes, my advice to people that, had, that I have the problem I had is that when you have such problem, you shouldn't run from God. Seek the face of God and your problem will be solved. And we also just want to hear, the moment that Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for you, what did you experience? When he prayed for me, I, just like I said earlier, I actually felt something move out of me and I fell and that was it. And after that, how did your body feel? After the prayer from the man of God, how did your body feel after that? I'm free. I'm free. You can see I'm free. Are you experiencing any more pain? No, no pain anymore. No pain. Could you move like this before your healing? No way. Uh, glory be to Jesus Christ. So we just want to advise you to continue to make God's word the standard for your life, to stay far from sin and close to God, so your healing will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and you, Jesus. I'm what free. do you want to do with the lumbar corset? I've thrown it away to the devil. Glory be Thank to you, Jesus. Christ. Escuchamos ese maravilloso testimonio de esta mujer que dice que por 16 años sufrió de espondilosis lumbar y tenía que utilizar este corsé lumbar. Pero hoy para la gloria de Jesucristo recibió el toque del Espíritu Santo por medio del profeta T.B. Joshua e inmediatamente recibió su sanidad. Y hoy se mueve libre, camina libre, puede bailar, puede saltar sin ningún tipo de dolor. Ella sana en el nombre de Jesús. Cette femme vient de rendre témoignage comment Dieu l'a visité par le prophète Tibi Joshua. Dieu l'a visité à mes termes à cette maladie qui touchait sa vie, la spondiose lombaire. Mais elle est guérie, complètement rétablie par la puissance de la résurrection de Christ. Continuez à regarder et que Dieu vous fortifie. of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, people of God. My name is Nyasha Benga from Zimbabwe, and my testimony goes like this. For over eight years now, I've had backaches, especially when I sit for as long as I have today. It will be a problem for me to stand up and walk. 
But as the man of God was walking through the crowd, I had the opportunity to be touched by his hand, and I felt a fire go down my spine, and my back felt very light. I don't feel the pains that I normally feel when I sit for this long, and I thank Jesus for that. Let's put our hands together for Christ Jesus. Yes, we are listening to instant testimony. He was among those that received a wonderful touch from the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, today. And here he is giving thanks to God for what he can do now after the touch. We want you to exercise yourself. Show us what you can do now after you receive this touch. Well, this is something I couldn't do after sitting for long and stand up straight like I'm doing and then walk. It was quite difficult. Walk to the glory of God, exercise your body. And when you do this before, how do you normally feel? I, I can't stand up straight. My back will be very painful. Well, you are doing it now to the glory of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Christ Jesus. <laughs> the wonderful healer. Yes, tell us, with what God Almighty has done for you today, what do you want to say? I, I would like to encourage people to keep meditating about the word and develop faith in that God can do anything for you. And that's all I can say for now. Amen. We thank God Almighty for, you, for your life and for what he has done for you today. And we encourage you that you should go and sin no more. Continue to walk in the light of your testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Escuchamos otro grandioso testimonio de lo que sucedió el día de hoy durante el servicio en vivo bajo el toque del profeta T.B. Joshua, bajo la unción del poder del Espíritu Santo. Este hombre cuenta que por 30 años sufrió de un fuerte dolor de espalda que no lo dejaba caminar normalmente, agacharse o hacer movimientos libremente. Pero dice que inmediatamente después que el hombre de Dios la tocó, lo tocó, ella, él recibió su sanidad completamente. Así que le da toda la gloria y la honra a Jesucristo porque ahora es libre de dolor y libre de enfermedad en el nombre de Jesús. Cet homme vient de donner un merveilleux témoignage qu'il a souffert des problèmes de dos pendant près de 30 ans de sa vie. Il a souffert de douleurs aiguës au dos. Mais dès que l'homme de Dieu l'a touché, la puissance du Saint-Esprit l'a visité et le mal de dos appartient au passé. Il est restauré, guéri et délivré. Aucune douleur pour la gloire de Jésus. So we are still listening to wonderful testimonies that prove beyond reasonable doubt that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And right now we're going to listen to a testimony of a woman who received a touch today. And uh, Madame, we ask you to introduce yourself to us, tell us your name, where you are from, and your testimony to the glory of God. We'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Yes, madam, please tell us your name and your testimony. Yeah, my name is Florence Aholu. I'm from Ghana. Yeah, I want to testify what the good Lord has done in my life this afternoon. A month, two weeks ago, we woke up and I saw a duplicate poo right in front of uh, our doormat. And I threw it away. The following two weeks, we saw a cat dead right at the same place because we don't have cats too in our house. Ever since my waist and my abdomen have locked, I can't even bend, I can't do like this. But right now, the man of God touched me. I can bend, I can do everything. Glory be to God. Can you tell us what exactly was the problem that you were having? What was the problem that you were having? My waist, they around me, my abdomen, my waist has locked as if they've used padlock to lock around my waist and my abdomen. 
ever since that cat died. And what were the things that you could not do as a result of this waist pain, back pain? What were the problem? What were the things that you were unable to do? I cannot bend. If I'm walking, I'll be feeling day, but now I'm okay. The cat and everything to is here. The cat. We don't have cats in the house, but we woke up there for a morning. Then a cat died on our doormat, right in front of our door. Ever yeah. since. That so as you're explaining, uh, uh, you believe that this was a problem as a result of evil attacks. You were having waist pain and it was affecting your back as well um, and it's causing you pain. And you said, as the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, touched you. Tell us what happened. He, he touched my head and touched my abdomen. Then now I can. I'm okay. I'm free now. And I instantly you received instantly your healing. I'm healed. Hallelujah. I'm healed. Glory be to God. Clap for Jesus Christ. Can you demonstrate your newfound healing in Christ Jesus? Just exercise your body and show us that you are free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm okay. Thank Any you, pain? God. Thank you, God. No pain. No pain. I'm free. No I'm okay. pain, which yes. is proof that Jesus Christ has healed her effectually and completely. And with what Jesus Christ has done in your life, what is your promise to Jesus? What is your promise to Jesus? I promise I will serve him for the rest of my life. Amen. And I think you have a photo that you want to show us um, concerning the evil attack that you're having. So you have the, problem, the picture of the yeah, dead the cat. cat. That's the dead cat that she said she found, um, which was behind her evil attacks. And that was giving her the problem of waist pain. That was giving her discomfort and pain. And uh, she said, as she came to the synagogue church of all nations today, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, touched her. And now she is healed to the glory of God. And Jesus Christ has put an end to that past life of pain and sickness. There's the dead cat. That is the problem, the evil attack which was behind her problem, but now God Almighty has taken her problem over and she has been set free to the glory of God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Escuchamos a esa mujer dar su testimonio, dice que vino aquí con un problema en su columna que no le permitía caminar derecha, que no le pedía moverse libremente, pero para la gloria y la honra de Jesucristo, después de que el profeta T.B. Joshua oró por ella, tocó su cabeza y su vientre, dice que el dolor desapareció y está feliz moviéndose libremente y demostrando el poder de Dios aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones. Cette femme vient de rendre témoignage qu'elle avait beaucoup de problèmes avec ses articulations, ses reins, son abdomen, son abdomen. C'était comme si tout était bloqué par un cadenas invisible. Elle n'arrivait pas à trouver des mouvements souples pour se tordre les reins. Mais dès que l'homme de Dieu l'a touchée, toutes ses forteresses ont été brisées, le cadenas a été enlevé. Et maintenant, elle peut se tordre librement, se déhancher librement et trouver la souplesse de son corps. Dieu la resterait dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit dans le nom de Jésus. God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Good morning, all. My name is Duke Akiyevium. I'm from Cross River State, Calabar. The people next to me here as my daughters. The problem that brought me to Sinagog Church of All Nations is I cannot walk by myself without supporting by my children. Due to lumbar spondylosis and coliosis, I was wearing collar on my neck and lumbar corset on my waist. The, this thing affected me since uh, four years now. I cannot do anything by myself. I cannot go to market 
except my children and my husband. I'm supported by my children. Even to go to the toilet is very difficult. I cannot go to the work. You so you're in the synagogue church of all nations a couple of weeks back as we have seen on the screen of our television she was brought to the synagogue church in the vehicle because she could not work due to the problem of lumbar spondylosis and scoliosis that she suffered for a very long time so we are seeing you there and what happened on that day after the man of god prophet tv joshua prayed for you i was inside the vehicle lying down the man of God come, I shout, Mouth of God, please help me. Please help me. My children also say, Man of God, please help my mother. Help my mother. He says, It's not only your mother, it's also my mother. So the man of God just come and touch me and remove that collar on my neck and do back corset. Right from that time, I feel cold all over my body and I can walk. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? The man said, the moment she received that divine touch from my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through Prophet T.B. Joshua on that fateful day, she's now okay. The neck collar was removed. The lama corset was removed. She stood out of the vehicle and she began to walk to the glory of God. And ever since then, she has been walking on her own, her own without any support from anybody. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So before we begin to demonstrate uh, to the uh, goodness of God, what God has done in your life, we'll quickly he'd like to hear from your daughter, one of your daughters, what they have to say concerning what God did in the life of the family. So can we hear from People you? People of God. Okay. Good morning, all. Emmanuel. I want to stand here today to thank God for what God has done for my mother. Can you tell us your name? I'm um, Teresa Sam from Akwai Boom State. I want to thank God for what God has done for my mother. She is my mother. On about two weeks ago, we came here. Or for my mother was sick. She could not work. She could not do anything on her own. We used to assist her to do everything. Even going to work, she could not go to work. So a, a, a brother invited us, told us, what are you doing? You have to come to TB Joshua. So we were here. And the man of God came. My mom was inside the car. The man of God came and touched her. And since that day, she has been doing everything on her own, even in the world. Don't just my mother receive healing. We also receive our healing because I could not sleep straight with my legs. I used to burn my leg like this to sleep. But since that day, I can do everything. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apart from the daughter, who is testifying alongside the mother of the healing she received when she was prayed for here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations uh, by Prophet T.B. Joshua. And she said not only was her mom healed on that day, she also received prayer and instantly the knee pain she had suffered for a very long time became a sin of the past to the glory of God. Now, mom, we don't see only what God says to produce and increase our faith. Uh, so, to, to the glory of God and for the benefit of the millions and millions of viewers watching all, all over the world, we want you to take some few steps forward. Can you walk majestically to the glory of God? Before, before I cannot walk without wearing corset, lumbar corset. I cannot turn my leg without wearing neck collar. But now I can do. I can walk. Hallelujah. Let us put our hands together for May Jesus. God be the glory. So in God Jesus' be the name. the glory. You have seen the woman walking majestically, doing what she could not do for a very long time to the glory of God. So what is that, your advice to those listening to you? What word of advice do you have for them? My advice. Uh, people are gathering to get here to get to them. Uh, my advice today is run to Jesus. Don't go back. Uh, have hope in him. Put trust in him. Hallelujah. We have the wonderful advice from the sister who said whatever problem you are having, run to God. Don't run from him. He's more than able to see you through. We give glory to God for what he has done in your life, setting you free and removing that burden of sickness in your life. So follow him along the way. Make his word the standard of your life. Make God, Jesus Christ, the Lord of your life. And we know that better is not good enough. The best is always yes to come. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus.
Le damos la gloria a Dios por ese magnífico testimonio de una mujer que vino con sus dos hijas a la iglesia sinagoga de todas las naciones. Ella tenía espondilosis, espondilosis lumbar y escoliosis. Ella usaba un collarín y un corsar lumbar. Y a través de esto era la única forma en que ella se podía movilizar, siempre con ayuda de sus hijas o de su esposo. Pero ella recibió su sanidad en el nombre de Jesucristo a través de la oración del profeta Tibi Joshua. Y no solo ella fue bendecida, sino que una de sus hijas, que tampoco podía ejercitar una de sus piernas, Ahora la puede mover para la gloria de Dios. Continuamos. La mujer était venue avec un problème d'incapacité à marcher, on l'a vu, elle a été amenée à la synagogue par les membres de sa famille dans une voiture parce qu'elle était incapable de marcher. Elle avait des problèmes de dégénérance des os, elle portait un corset lombaire et la souffrance était terrible au point qu'elle était restée alitée tout le temps. Mais lorsqu'elle est venue, l'homme de Dieu a prié pour lui dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit et le nom de Jésus-Christ s'est manifesté pour la délivrer, la sanctifier. Elle est là avec sa famille guérie et restaurée dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. Is your faith lifted up? Your faith should be lifted up by now. Listening to the testimonies, seeing the power of God in action, letting you know that Jesus Christ is as close to you as he was to the woman with the issue of blood. So anywhere you are right now, stay in faith, stay connected, and you too can receive that wonderful miracle in Jesus' name. We're still listening to more testimonies of those who have received after receiving a touch. So please go ahead, introduce yourselves. Emmanuel. My name is Glory Omako. The man beside me is my husband. This Joshua and Deborah. Okay, I'm here to testify the healing power of God in my life. Uh, last two weeks, I was in the service when man of God touched us. I was, up, I was among the people that was healed. Instantly, I received my healing because I was having dislocation of the elbow joint. The pain was so severe, the hands were swollen that I could not use it to do anything. And how did your elbow become dislocated? I fell at work, I hit my hand somewhere and I had the dislocation. So after having that accident at work that caused the dislocation of the elbow, how did it affect your home? It affected me so much because the hand was swollen, there was so much pain. As a mother, I could, not take the, I could no longer take care of my children, I could not cook, I could not go to work, I could not do things I was supposed to do as a mother. So what happened when you came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations? When I was at the life service, Something happened. Immediately I saw man of God coming. I was shivering. I could no longer talk. I could not speak. Man of God came to me and said, did you hear what I said? I said, yes, sir. My tongue was shaking already. But immediately he said, what did I say? I said, daddy, you said press on. He said, no. I said, press in. The situation is tough. You need to press in. But all glory to God today, I am healed. But what surprised me was, immediately man of God laid his hand on me. He tapped the apple joint exactly where the pain was. And I was healed instantly. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. As she came here two weeks ago, that is her right now. You're seeing on the screen, you can see she's having a support there for her elbow that was dislocated. But Prophet T.B. Joshua came to her and prayed for her exactly on the very place, she said, where she was feeling the pain. And instantly, she was healed. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So as you said, this is your husband standing beside you, so we'd just like to briefly hear from him and what he would like to say about the healing that has taken place in your life. So you're welcome. Please tell us your name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I just want to appreciate the wonderful things the God of Prophet Joshua has done in my marriage. Last two weeks, by the special grace of God, my wife was among persons that received touching from man of God. It was not easy because since um, about one month plus, my wife gets injury 
he sustained the injury. So this was so tough for me. She can't be able to do her housework. I was the one that taking care of everything. Um, um, making, um, making food for the children and also uh, cleaning the children up and also better my, my wife. So uh, since man of God touched my wife, everything was settled. The pen, the, the pen, the pen was automatically gone. So glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for what he's done. Relieving you of the stress that you two went through after you had to take up the chores of the wife doing the cooking and cleaning at the time of her injury. But today she is healed. And madam, we want to see the demonstration of your healing. Can you show us how you can move your arm now? I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. The hand is free. The things I can no longer do before, I can do them now. I could not, I, initially, I could not carry my baby, but look at me lifting him up. Thank you, Jesus. I am healed. Amen. Well, we're thanking Jesus with you and rejoicing with you for what God has done in your life. And finally, what words of advice would you like to give to others? My word of advice is trust in God. At God's time, everything is beautiful. Gloire à Dieu, Stéphane vient de partager un témoignage merveilleux. Elle avait eu une luxation de de, du coude. Son coude s'était luxé. C'était incapable de servir de la main gauche. Elle pouvait faire sa cuisine, ses activités ménagères. Elle a dit qu'il était même difficile pour elle de prendre ses enfants dans ses bras, comme il vient de le faire. Elle est venue dans un état de souffrance et d'incapacité. L'homme de Dieu a prié pour elle dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Son bras a été restauré, son coude a été restauré. Elle a été guérie, restaurée dans la position originelle dans laquelle Dieu l'a créée. Vous l'avez vu maintenant, le bonheur est revenu, la paix est revenue. Elle est capable de soulever ses enfants, de faire ses activités ménagères sans aucun problème. Et rend gloire à Dieu de l'avoir guérie, réinstaurée. Nos regocijamos en la presencia de Dios, porque en su presencia hay milagros y hay sanidad. Ciertamente esta mujer fue sana a través de una palabra profecía, instantáneamente. Ella tenía el codo dislocado, pero una vez que el profeta T.B. Joshua se acercó y oró por ella, justamente en la parte que ella necesitaba oración en su codo, ella recibió instantánea sanidad. Ella antes no podía hacer ningún quehacer de esposa ni de madre en casa, no podía levantar a sus hijos, no podía cargarlos, no podía cocinar, no podía hacer nada, pero ahora para la gloria de Dios, ella puede cargar a sus hijos, puede hacer todos los quehaceres que una madre y en casa puede, que tenga que hacer. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén. To God be the glory, we are still listening to wonderful testimonies from people who have been touched and set free from their various problems. So, madam, you are welcome. Tell us your name and share with us your wonderful testimony. Emmanuel. My testimony today is that today is my first time of coming to this place. As man of God is Tell us what is your name, madam? What is your name and what was the problem God that brought you here? What is your name and what was the problem that brought you here today? My name is Mrs. Onovo Geraldine. I'm from Enugu State. The problem of my coming here is today is that I have problem in my stomach. Since uh, eight months, my menstruation is I couldn't menstruate. But I immediately, man of God touches me. Immediately, I saw my menstruation. Something was uh, disturbing my stomach. Immediately, I see my blood, blood is coming out from my body. Wow. Don't... Shall we put our hands together beautifully for Jesus? So you mean the problem that brought you here to the church today was the problem of ceased menstruation for the past eight months? Yes, because I know I am not pregnant. Okay. Just and, and where did you go in search of a solution? Yes. Where did you go to in search of a solution to your problem? Okay. And, and then I, I went many lab. I, I went to hospital for lab. They tested me. They said. Uh, there's not, they, I, I, I'm not pregnant. They didn't see any 
thing. And I, I was be afraid, even taking uh, native medicine because of that matter. Mm. Then my brother sent me to, that I should come to this place. Mm. See, I, I received the miracle today. So you mean you went far and wide in search of a solution to your problem of seized menstruation, but there was no solution forthcoming. That was how you came to the Senegal Church of All Nations today. And what happened when the man of God, Prophet C.B. Joshua, touched you? What happened? What happened when the man of God touched you? Okay, you know, every man of God touched me, I feel somehow. It's like my stomach is turning. I feel wet. Hmm. I went to the toilet immediately. Bro, I saw blood in my body. Wow. I thank God. To God be the glory. Immediately the man of God touched you. You felt wet and you went to the ladies and that was how you checked yourself and you saw that you were now seeing your menstruation to the glory of God. Shall we put our hands together beautifully for Jesus Christ? We just watched earlier on on the screen the clips of the woman when she went to the ladies and lo and behold she is now seeing a menstruation that has been seized for many many months to the glory of God. So madam tell us what advice do you have for people listening to you? What advice do you have for them because many people too have this problem and they don't know how to go about it. My advice is that Whenever you have a problem that you should have faith in God, believe that God, with, with God all things are possible. Mm. You should believe and trust in God because with God all things are possible. Well, we thank God Almighty for all God has done in your life. I will enjoy you that you should make God's word the standard for your life so that your healing will remain permanent in Jesus' name. témoigné de de cette femme qui était avec un problème de ménopause précoce. Elle avait perdu ses règles depuis presque neuf mois. Elle est venue ici de, cherchant la face de Dieu. Elle a dit que dès que l'homme de Dieu l'a touché, elle a senti quelque chose bouger dans son estomac, comme s'il y avait un écoulement de fluide. Elle s'est précipitée aux toilettes et s'est rendue compte que ses règles qui s'étaient arrêtées depuis très longtemps ont commencé à couler en abondance. Dieu l'a restaurée et la vie coule dans son sein pour la gloire de Dieu. Acabamos de escuchar este testimonio de esta mujer que confirma su sanidad. Ella nos comenta de que no podía, no podía menstruar por ocho meses, pero luego de que el hombre de Dios, el profeta TV Joshua, oró por ella. Ella fue al baño, fue a revisarse y así como observamos anteriormente en pantalla, ella recibió su milagro, recibió su sanidad. Vimos como ella volvió a menstruar y ella le da la gloria a Jesucristo ya que ha restaurado su vida. To God with the glory, right now we want to listen to someone who was here a few months ago and received the same torch that we received today. And today she has a wonderful testimony to the glory of God to share. Sister, you are very much welcome. Tell us your name and your testimony. My name is Mrs. Adiba Yoadetutu. My name is Mrs. Adiba Yoadetutu. So can you tell us the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations the first time you came? The problem that brought me here is barrenness for the past 15 years. You were barren for 15 years? Yes. Wow, where have you been to in search of solutions to this problem? So many hospitals, general hospitals, private hospitals. Who? I've been to general hospitals, private hospitals, a lot of hospitals. So tell us, how did you uh, receive your healing? I was here last year, December 4, 2016, and the man of God touched me and gave me morning water. Mm -hmm. After he gave me morning water, I went home and used it with my husband. I supposed to see my period December 20, but when I went to check up, the doctor said I'm pregnant. Yeah, you said you were here December last year, 2016. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And you came and the man of God touched you. And after that, when you were going home, you went home with your morning water. Can you tell us your experience that very day when the man of God touched you? That very day when the man of God touched me, I feel cold. You felt cold in your body? Yes. And after that, what happened? After that, nothing happened. I, I, I felt I'm free. 
Okay, you said you were supposed to see your menstruation that very month. Is that that very month on the 20th December. And after the prayer, what happened? After you met with your husband, what happened? After I met with my husband, I went for checkup, and the doctor said I'm pregnant. That same month? Yes. Shall we put our hands together for her Lord Jesus? Yes, our sister said she's been having this problem of barrenness for the past 15 years and she came to the uh, synagogue of all nations and that very day she received a touch and as she really said that when she was going home she went with morning water as usual and today she's back today to say God has done it. Can you tell us what God has done in your life after 15 years? What has God done in your life right now? I'm very happy. Now, you are. now I'm pregnant. You can see. Well, can we see? You say you are pregnant after 15 years. Well, when you were looking for this fruit of the womb, can you tell us your experiences as a woman being childless for 15 years? Can you share one or two experiences with us? It's not easy. It's not easy. But I thank God. I don't have anything to say, but thank God. Our sister says she's short of words. It is not easy. But today, the Lord made it easy. Once again, let us put our hands together for the miracle worker, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, can you give a word of advice to those who are here today, viewers all around the world, having similar problem of childlessness? Any word of advice you want to give them? My advice is that you should have faith, believe in God. When you are coming to the church, believe God is going to do whatever you want for you. I want everybody to believe in God and you have faith. Our sister said everyone should believe in God and have faith. That the same God that has done it in our life today will also do it for each and every one of you who is seeking the face of God in this way in Jesus' name. If you believe the same God that has done it for her will do it for you. Put your hands together for her Lord Jesus. Now we thank God for your life and we believe very soon you will be coming with your baby to the glory of God to share your wonderful testimony of the miraculous healing you have received today in Jesus' name. Uh, can you tell us the, the medical report you have there? This is my baby. Wow, you mean that's uh, the scan that proved that you are indeed pregnant? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, we can see on the screen of our television the medical report that proved that our sister is indeed pregnant after 15 years of barrenness. We thank God for your life and we believe that the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Oui, nous voulons donc témoigner cette femme qui s'appelle Madame Adebayo qui a souffert de la stérilité pendant 15 ans. 15 ans de stérilité, de souffrance. Elle a gardé ça dans son cœur, mais Jésus l'a visité au temps marqué. Lorsqu'elle est venue, l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Ibiyosha, a étendu la main pour prier pour elle dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Et les fardeaux de la stérilité ont été enlevés. Et Dieu l'a béni. Vous la voyez maintenant, elle se tient devant vous. Elle est enceinte. Elle attend un enfant pour la gloire de Jésus. Vamos a escuchar la confirmación de sanidad, el increíble testimonio de esta mujer que vemos aquí como está en pantalla el registro de lo que ella padecía. Ella padecía de esterilidad por 15 años, ella no podía concebir ni nada de luz, pero luego de la oración del profeta Tibi Joshua le ministró hace el agua de la mañana. Ella le da la gloria a Jesucristo ya que ella está aquí con nosotros presente, embarazada, con el registro médico de que ella va a dar a luz a un hermoso niño. Le damos la gloria a Jesucristo por este milagro. Continuamos. So I believe that we are blessed as we are listening to what Jesus Christ, the great physician, the master healer, has been doing in the lives of his people. And right now we're going to continue to listen to another testimony of those who received healing here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations through God's anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. So as you, listen, be, as you listen, be blessed in Jesus' name. Madam, you're very welcome. Please introduce yourself to us. Tell us your name and your testimony to the glory of God. Emmanuel. My name is Nonsigele Loketa Mastemele. I'm coming from South Africa. 
The problem that brought me here, the problem that brought me here, it was the difficulty in working due to this degeneration. It's caused by the arthritis of the lumbar spine. According to the specialists, the doctors that have been through, they said the arthritis has spread all over my body. It started from the lumbar spine and spread all over my body. And tell us, how did this problem affect your daily life? I couldn't do my house chores as the mother. When I was pregnant with my seven-year-old child, the doctors were giving me a wheelchair. I refused, so I was a pregnant woman with working with crutches because of the back problem. And I couldn't put my baby on the back. Now she's seven years old, and I missed that opportunity. And at my workplace as well, I'm a teacher by profession. I'm having three lectures a day, and the whole of the day I have to be in the office. I'm sitting a lot, and I'm standing a lot. So it was difficult for me because I have to alternate. I cannot finish one hour standing. I have to alternate between the two. As well as an African daughter-in-law, it was a challenge for me to go to my in-laws, especially in the Eastern Cape, because when I go there, I have to be a daughter-in-law, work as hard as you know how African daughters work. So it was also another challenge for me. I had to make excuses every time I have to go to see my in-laws. Tell us, how long were you suffering from this problem? How? For, for more than eight years, if I remember very well, on my right, on my right foot, I've got something like an operation. You might think it's an operation. What happened, I've been to a traditional healer that used some concoction, thinking that is healing me. And because of God's grace, I, I slept that night and I dreamt like my leg was not working anymore. So when I woke up, I realized that it nearly broke my nerve. So they had to rush me to the hospital to clean all that mess. But I thank God that I'm alive today. Glory be to God. And tell us, what did the doctors actually recommend? What did the doctors say concerning your condition? What I've been to the physiotherapist. I've been to the neurologist. I've been to the orthosurgeon. All of them, they couldn't heal me. They were telling me that two of my discs have been finished. And today you are here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, and we saw where the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, prayed for you. Tell us what actually happened. Before the man of God touched me, I felt some hot sensation as he was getting closer to me. And when he touched me, I felt so hot, and I can't remember well what happened after that, but I know when I woke up, I felt as fresh as a baby. Glory be to God. And we saw when the lumbar corset was removed after you fell down when the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, prayed for you. Uh, instantly you stood up and uh, we saw the wonderful healing that took place. That was the lumbar corset that was removed. Tell us, how are you feeling now after your healing? I'm feeling so fresh. I'm feeling so light. Thank you, Jesus. Can you just demonstrate an exercise for us to just show us that truly Jesus Christ has performed that wonderful healing? Previously, I couldn't lift my hands like this because of the pain on my spine. I couldn't bend. I have to bend like this, but now I can squat. I can sit up. I can jump. I can lift my feet. There's nothing that I cannot do now. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus Christ. And uh, you were the one using this uh, lumbar corset? This is not my portion. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. That is the lumbar corset that she was using as a result of her problem. She has thrown it away. And uh, truly, as Jesus Christ has thrown her problem away through the wonderful healing, through his anointed servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua, we know that that healing indeed is complete and effectual in the name of Jesus Christ. But and what is your promise to Jesus Christ after this wonderful healing? My promise is to serve him and love him. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Let's clap for Jesus Christ.
acabamos de escuchar la confirmación de esta mujer que viene a decirnos que ella visitó la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de artritis. Ella no podía realizar sus actividades normalmente, ella como maestra de profesión tenía que realizar actividades y no las podía realizar debido a este problema de artritis. Ella tenía que usar este corset lumbar, pero al visitar la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones recibió el toque de profeta Tibi Joshua y luego de ocho años de estar con este sufrimiento, ella ha sido libre, ella vimos que se ejercitaba para la gloria de Jesucristo, le damos la gloria a Dios por esta sanidad, ella camina a la dura de su testimonio. Continuamos. Cette femme a souffert pendant longtemps d'une spondylose lombaire. Lorsqu'elle est venue incapable de marcher, Dieu l'a visitée par la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Elle mettait encore ses lombaires ce que les médecins lui ont prescrit. C'était la seule solution. Elle pouvait difficilement tenir debout parce qu'elle est enseignante et professeure. Lorsque l'homme de Dieu l'a touchée, elle a été guérie, restaurée totalement comme vous l'avez vu. Elle peut se courber, elle peut sautiller, elle peut marcher, elle faire ses activités professionnelles sans aucun problème. Elle s'est débarrassée des corps lombaires parce que Jésus l'a délivrée. Hallelujah, glory be to God. I mean, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. So testimonies continue in the presence of God. Madam, you are very welcome in Jesus' name. Can you please introduce yourself to us and tell us the problems that brought you here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations? Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Anela Nali Pagade. I am a medical practitioner from Kuguletu in Cape Town, South Africa. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was a recent fall that I sustained a few months ago. When x-rays were done, they, it, they did not show any dislocation nor fractures, but the arm remained very stiff and I, was, I could only bend it or extend it halfway, not all the way like I am doing now. Doctors prescribed an arm sling in order to keep it in position and to try and regain full use of the joint because the problem was the elbow joint that had become very stiff. And tell us, how did this really affect you uh, as a medical doctor, the things you were unable to do as a result of this injury? As a medical doctor, this affected me in a lot of ways because I do need full